Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. Well, we're out here in our pea patch, and we have got a lot of peas this year. We planted about six 100-foot rows, and I think every seed we planted has come up. So if you'll stay tuned, we're going to show you what we do every year to pick peas and to pick them properly. We're going to show you how to pick them properly, and then we're going to show you what to do to shell them quickly, and we're going to show you how to blanch them and prepare them for the freezer. Okay, first of all, we got to pick all these peas. So if you're going to go out to a pick your own and you're actually going to pick peas, here's a quick lesson. What I like to do is find peas, and obviously you can see their peas in this pod right here. Okay, and press it. And if it gives a little bit, that's ready to pick. So we're just going to pick that off. I'm going to pick this one off as well. And there's a lot of them around here we're just going to go ahead and get because these are ready to go. Okay, here's an example of one not ready to pick. You can't really see the peas in the pod very well, and if you press it, it is hard to press. So this is still immature and it's not ready to pick. Okay, to hand shell peas, what I like to do is I take the upper part of the pea pod and I actually look for the outside. And it's actually, there's all pea pods are kind of curved inward just a little bit, so I like to go to the outside and I pop that open right there, and it'll just kind of unzip. Okay, and different varieties of peas are a little bit different but the ones that I plant they do this every time now as I said other varieties can be different so some can be harder to shell than other ones and that's it and so you're just gonna put those in a container and you're gonna move on to the next ones so that's just a couple of peas we just shelled now I don't like shelling peas so I'm gonna show you what I do next so this is every country kid's nightmare. This is about five gallons of peas that I picked yesterday. So when I was growing up, you were given a brown paper sack full of these peas. You were given another brown paper sack for the holes. And you had a little plastic container that all the peas went into. And you'd sit there on the front porch and you would shell peas. Or if you got lucky, you actually got to go in where the air conditioner was at and shell peas. But what we're gonna do since I hate to shell peas, we're going to carry these to the co-op where there's a pea sheller. So this pea sheller is made by Wellborn Devices out of Laurel, Mississippi. Now this is an old one, but this company still builds these pea shellers to this very day. Okay, there they are. So I know this is not a ton of peas, but this cost two dollars. That's all it was to get this shelled, and it probably saved me two hours of shelling, so definitely worth it. So when you're washing these peas and picking through them, get the debris out. And also look for any, any flattened peas, squashed peas, whatever you want to call them. There might be a few in there. Get those out. And you might see if what we call stung peas, which may have a little mark on them like that and we get those out. Now you may not have very many, but we like to look through them and pull those out. And that's just something I learned when I was a small child. Okay, when it was all said and done, we ended up with eight cups of good clean peas. We're gonna blanch these and then we're gonna freeze them in pint containers. I've got my peas transferred to a six quart pot and all we're gonna do now is put some water in. That's four cups right there. That's not quite enough. You wanna get these good and covered. The reason you want so much water is you're gonna use this water to help protect the peas in the freezer. So once you put your peas in your container, you're gonna cover them with the water from the blanching process. Okay, these are starting to heat up and looks like they're almost starting to boil. Just one thing to note, if you see any bad peas while you're cooking, Go ahead and take those out, like that one right there. Just keep watching. If you see something that you don't like in there, get it out. So there's a couple here that I don't like. Okay, our peas have reached the boil. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn them down to a medium. And we're going to let them simmer for about three minutes. Now you can stir them occasionally. During the next three minutes, you do not have to stir them constantly. Okay, these have been simmering for about three minutes. And they're looking really good. 
So what we're going to go ahead and do now is just turn them off and we're going to let them cool down slowly. Now I recommend covering these in about 30 minutes and then give it a maybe two or three hours to cool down and then what we're going to do we're going to put them in our plastic containers and freeze them. Okay it's been a couple hours our peas have cooled down enough that we're going to put them in the plastic containers and put them in the freezer. So all we do at this point I use a slotted spoon and I just fill up these plastic containers with peas first. What I like to do is is get close to the top but not quite because we're gonna now we're gonna put the liquid over that and that's ready to go in the freezer we've got a little bit more than a quarter of an inch for headspace for expansion but we're just gonna fill the rest of them up like that and what's gonna happen is that liquid is gonna help protect the peas from freezer burn okay at this point all you do is put your lids on and you are good to go just make sure they're on good these can be a little finicky okay we've got our peas in our containers and if you'll notice in a lot of these containers that are meant for freezing you'll see a little press here so you can press that air out of them and they are ready to go in the freezer so we hope you gain some useful knowledge on how to pick peas on how to save time by going to the co-op and having your peas shelled. Now you can shell them by hand, obviously. And how to blanch and prepare your peas for the freezer. Thanks for watching.